not headed to the gym. Today is gonna be a very uh, heavy glute isolated leg day. Um, so I know so many of you, especially you ladies, always are asking about my progress. So I'm trying to get those videos up there. So it's like, you know, share my methods I use for myself. So hopefully you can use it, take from it. Kind of tweak it according to what your goals and your needs are. Um, so, and I set my phone up in my car before I started driving so I can have two hands because I'm driving a stick shift today. So I have two hands and be safe. It's better to be safe, especially when you're driving. Um, we don't want to be causing any accidents or getting in any accidents. Um, so, um, actually I've been, uh, driving a stick shift for, since I first started driving, since I was like, like six, 15, 16, first thing I ever learned on. I actually love driving a stick. Um, I like having that option to, you know, change into different gears. Um, I've been riding dirt bikes with, you know, clutch, uh, since I could, since I was like eight years old. So, um, a lot of you probably don't even realize this by looking at me, but I'm like the biggest tomboy at heart. I'm not afraid to get dirty. Um, I'm not afraid to just get out there and play it rough. Um, it may not look like it, but I like to be like cute and sassy too, and I like to play dress up. So having the best of both worlds, but not being afraid of either. So I love it. Um, so yeah, so I've been, I still ride. Um, I snowboard, I wakeboard, and I love it. Um, I'm actually really sad right now that uh, there's been no snow here um, in Northern California. I'm like literally right near Tahoe and it's sad because I, my sister lives up there and I go up there to visit and snowboard um, as much as I can but there's been no snow. Uh, it's been terrible weather. So it's really sad. I'm, I'm having uh, snowboarding withdrawals but um, it means wakeboarding I guess with the summer but if we don't have any snow we're gonna have terrible lakes and rivers uh, not you know basically no water so we need both I just wish it would just rain and snow I know some of you guys are probably getting so much snow right now and I'm jealous so last night I got up out of bed because um, I need to grab my wallet I was doing something on my phone playing on my phone in bed as usual and uh, so I went in the kitchen, it was dark, um, I turned on the little stove light and then I go to reach over the counter to grab my wallet from my purse instead of walking around and I felt something to touch my foot and you know I immediately am like oh my god what is that and look down and I see something dark but I can't really tell what it is. So I go flip on the, the kitchen light to actually see what touched my foot and it's a spider that was probably the size of a quarter. I literally got immediately creeped out because it was really, really dark, a dark spider. And I'm thinking, okay, this is not your usual house spider. And sure enough, it was a black widow. I think was this, he's huge. I'm freaking out, literally almost in tears. I jump up like a little monkey <laughs> onto the counter and I'm like sprawled one leg over on each counter. And I'm just like, oh my god! And Zach's already in bed. I feel bad because he has to be up at five. And I'm trying not to like freak, freak out. And um, so I ended up the I have a fly swatter nearby <laughs> and grabbed the fly swatter. And I'm I'm not sure that how this thing was going to how I was going to kill this thing because um, it you know. Black widows don't die very easy. And I'm thinking, what if I hit this thing, don't kill it, and then I can't find it? And then, you know, what if it, I end up, you know, getting, it finds me later and bites me or Zach, or worst of all, one of the puppies. So I took my chance, grabbed it, and I'm like sprawled up, and I go and just whap, just hit it really hard. And I, I don't know what happened to it, I don't know where it went. And I'm still up on the counter, like, spread eagle, like, oh my god! And then I see its legs kind of everywhere. Thank god. I killed it. Um, thank god. So, because that would have been the worst. Because lately, I don't know what it is, too. Crew has been loving eating spiders. Everything he finds, everybody finds, he's, like, playing with it and eating it. So, if he had done that with 
a black widow and got bit by that thing, oh, I would have probably about had a heart attack and died. Poor baby. So, but yeah, that was my, that's my scary story for the, for the day. <laughs> I, I'm not so bad, much bad with spiders now, but something like that, touching your foot and then finding out what it is later. Yeah, it kind of freaks you out. So, but yeah, made it to the gym. So let's, uh, let's do these legs. Oh yeah, I'm going to show you my pre-workout meal first. <laughs> Hi, how's it going? Oh, that's right. <laughs> I need to show you my pre-workout meal. See? Right there, we got sweet potato and chicken, or yam, because it's the yellow, not the orange. So I have about three ounces of chicken and seven ounces of sweet potato. So I like to eat this about an hour before my training session, pretty much most of my training sessions, so, because it's slower digesting, both the, the carb, the lower glycemic, so slower absorption and the chicken too. So I like to eat it about an hour before, so by the time I'm ready to train, it's into my my tissues and get ready to use for when I need it. Um, reason being I only have three ounces of chicken is because I only need so much protein in a day for myself specifically. So I like to separate out my proteins into multiple meals. So I'm getting that constant supply of aminos, which are the building blocks and basically to maintain muscle. We want, we want to keep those muscles. <laughs> so, um, so but most of you didn't know that I would definitely separate out your proteins through day. So you're just getting that constant supply of aminos. I like to get my um, nutrients, my aminos, my vitamins, my minerals, all that. I like to stick with whole foods and not supplement massive amounts of stuff. I think um, you know there's good reasons to supplement stuff depending on what you're doing, especially if you're training for a competition, um, an event, getting ready for that, or even, um, you know, trying to make any specific gains too. I think supplementing definitely is a good idea because then you're getting that extra, ed extra added, added benefit. So, um, so I like to do this an hour before. I like to do my Stance Lipotropic, um, which is a stimulant-free, caffeine-free fat burner. It's L-carnitine tartrate based. I like to do this about 30 minutes before I train. Helps to give me kind of that natural energy too, a good, good clean energy, not your crazy like, because yeah, some of us don't like that. <laughs> so I like to do one scoop of this. Um, you can get this on my website, which is jen.stancesupplements.com. Um, once give it this 30 minutes before because it's, I do it in water, you're drinking it, it's quicker absorbing into your system so you don't need it as long. So, um, but yeah, so we're going to do this, we're going to eat, I'm going to stuff my face, and then we're going to go work out. Alright, time to do these legs. So I'm going to warm up first for 10 minutes on Stairmaster. Um, so I know a lot of you actually have been asking about my armband. This is actually a sock and I cut the end off of it <laughs> and um, basically just roll it up over your phone. Simple, simple and I think it's better than any of those other really expensive phone holders you use. So cheap, you can make them cute, easy, you can wash them, we're good to go. And they actually stay in place really well. Even for when I do everything, sprints, plyos, crazy stuff, they stay good. So, all right, let's warm up these legs. One minute left. So we're starting with three sets of lightweight squats. So I got a 45 pound bar. I got 10 pounds on each side, which make it 65 pounds. So we're gonna do 20 reps, three sets. Um, because I do heavy legs two times a week um, squats, I'm doing lighter today. So on my third day. Sweaty. Okay, so next I'm gonna do the hack squat. So some of you have this, I'm sure, at your gym. 
um, but I'm gonna do single leg like lunges on there, really focus on the booty. Um, I think this alone without weight is about 45 pounds, so I'm adding 25 because it's gonna be single leg. So um, I'm gonna do 10 reps. If it's easy, to, by that point, I'm gonna add more weight because I don't want it to be easy. <laughs> hip raises on the ball, 20 reps back to back with your kickbacks for four sets. <laughs> My booty's hurting. So next we're gonna do kickbacks um, on the cable, on a bench, heavy, really heavy. And then we're gonna do rainbows, which are crossovers, like <laughs> that, um, for 20 reps each leg, back to back for four sets. <sighs>
and we're done. Um, so now I'm gonna finish 10 minutes on here, cycling up hill, downhill, really uh, burn out my legs. Um, by the way, if you're curious of what this is, it's a sweatband, it is not a waist trainer. I do not like waist trainers because they're constricting and I think they flatten the muscles too much. So if you want really defined core, I would suggest not wearing it and just so you can breathe. Um, and uh, but a sweatband's great. It'll help really keep that definition in your core. <laughs> Mwah.